Hello there. This video will be about um, my workaround for uh, rebinding the control key for uh, for uh, horn and siren in Just Cause 2. If you played Just Cause 2, uh, you know that um, the horn and siren control cannot be binded or rebinded because it's not even uh, listed in the control settings in the menu and it's it's just assigned to Q which is also look back so if you're using Q for look back you're also activating and deactivating the the siren or making a horn sound at the same time and there's absolutely no way to uh, change it from the game so um, I've came, came up with this workaround uh, I've modified the default configuration file uh, for default key mappings, default control settings. So it's like uh, executing a script, but, but it is done by resetting your controls. So the downside of this method is that you will uh, lose all your settings, uh, key, key, uh, keyboard settings and mouse settings, all your controls will get res reset, all your bindings. So this is the downside of it, so you'll have to reconfigure remap your keys again so here's the download archive and I've included uh, a lot of several options here I, I think that, that is enough so these are all uh, buttons so all these folders are named for the buttons that the siren um, horn key is assigned to so the, you can uh, there's options for C control um, shift all the mouse buttons, mouse 3, mouse 4, mouse 5, space, tap, and B, X, Z. I think that's enough. And all you have to do is um, open the folder. So um, right now I myself, I have it assigned to, I have the horn and um, horn and siren assigned to um, left control. Let's um, let's for example uh, change it to mouse four. That, that'd be interesting. So you just drag and drop, extract the drop zone folder into your main left and uh, main uh, just cause two folder, or you can go inside the folder and drag and drop it to drop zones folder. And there's only actually one file inside uh, each folder that you need it's the key map underscore keyboard dot bin it's, it's the only file that you actually need but of course in in every one of these folders is a different version of this file and the folder is named accordingly to w what the file does what it binds this horn siren action to so all right so since you've done it and if you're familiar with just goes to skins and mods you already know how to extract a drop zone if you don't have the drop zone folder just create it all right so i will launch the game now and proceed with explanation now one thing i did mention that if you actually like your horn and siren uh, function assigned to the q key if you actually like it you can just rebind the look behind uh, action to another key you don't really need to modify anything but this uh, th this uh, modification workaround of mine is, ju is just to rebind it to some other button alright so right now I have it assigned to left control and pressing left control now I... what the hell is this? <laughs> it's just a bug. It doesn't have anything to do with what I did. So you go to settings, um, keyboard mouse options, key mapping, and then you have to press set to default. So you're actually resetting all the settings. Then confirm the changes. And now Let's see, if I press left control, nothing happens. I press mouse 5. No, what it was? Mouse 4, yeah? Yeah. 
So now it works. Let's try. So now you can activate and deactivate so without looking back, without interrupting the gameplay. By the way, um, in case you didn't know, the, uh, the ice truck has a melody playing and so does the the DLC version of the group ice cream truck. Right, so um well this is it. And if you don't plan to reset your settings uh, again, you actually now may uh, remove that um, that file that you extracted, that my file that you extracted from uh, into the drop zone folder, the the keyboard, um, whatever it's named, dot bin. Um, but if you remove it and then reset controls, it will reset back to Q. So it will reset back to original and the the siren horn function will be again assigned to the original Q key. And um, what else? And if you wanna change the 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 binding again, you know, try a, a other binding file, you have to restart the game. I mean, you can't do it right in game. You have to exit it. You know, extract the another version into the drop zone folder. Then again, start the game, reset controls, and do it again. All right. Um, hope it helps. So, drive carefully, wear your seatbelts, and whenever it's possible, always play your siren.